Hello kids, welcome to Melo Classroom. Are you all ready for a rhyme? Yes. So let's sing a rhyme. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught the fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the, my right. Yes! yes! Children, do you all know this rhyme, right? Okay. So, keep pract practicing this rhyme daily. Okay. So, let's get into our session today. So, children, we have learned so many numbers, right? We have learned number 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So let's do a quick recap or action of numbers one to five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So today we are going to learn a new number. Yes, children. Want to see what is that number? Before that, let's recall all the numbers we have learned so far. Okay. We have learned number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So children, we have learned 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. And today we are going to learn a new number that comes after number 5. Okay. Want to see what is that number? This is our number of the day. So children, this is our number of the day. And this is number 6. So the number that comes after number 5 is 6. So, let me place after number 5. So, we'll recite the numbers. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 comes after number 5. Now, let's start counting number 6. So, children, I have few popsicles here. Yes. So, let's count how many popsicles are there. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, So, we have 6 popsicles. Now, let's start counting how many birds are there here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 6 birds. And children, do you know what is this? Ant, yes, you are correct. This is a, a, ant. And children, do you know how many legs does an ant have? Don't know? So let's start counting how many legs does an ant have. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, So, an ant has six legs. So, go and tell your parents that 
I learned that ant has six legs. Okay, children. So we have learned one more new thing today that ant has six legs. Okay. So now we have learned how to count number six, right? So let's start counting number six on our fingers. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and this is number six. And I am and I am showing six fingers. Five fingers on one hand and one finger on the other hand. Make six fingers. Shall we count again? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. This is six and I am showing six fingers. Hey, so I have learned a new number that is number six. And six comes after number five. Yes, and I have learned to count number six using many examples. And I have also learned to count number six on my fingers. So children, quickly Clap for six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! So we have clapped for six times. Yes? So shall we sing a song on number six, children? Yes. Six is the number of the day. Six is the number of the day. Hip, hip, hooray for the number of the day. Six is the number of the day. Yay! So, we have learned number six. So, let's practice tracing number six in the air. So, children, to write number six, I will tell you a very easy method, okay? It is very easy to write number six. First, take your index finger. And your middle finger and write here. Make a C and then a curl. Yes, children? Make a C and then a curl. And this is number 6. And while tracing number 6, no children, we can sing a, sing a song like this. Make a C and then a curl. Make a C and then a curl. Make a C and then a curl to make the number 6. Yes children? So let's practice tracing on the board. Okay? So this is my number 6, right? So let's trace it on the board. Make a C and then a curl. Make a C and then a curl. Make a C and then a curl to make the number 6. Yes. So children, we have practiced tracing it on the board also. Yes. So now let's see some more examples to count number 6 which are given in our Melu books. Okay. So let's see what is there in our book. So children, this is my number 6 and it comes after number Five. Yes. So, here we have few crayons. Yes, children, these are crayons, right? So, let's count how many crayons are there, okay? So, you also count along with me, okay, children? One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. six. So, how many crayons are there? Six crayons. And children, we have few, we have two pots here. Yes, children, flower pots. Yes. So now, repeat, we have two plants here. Yes, children, potted plants. So now, we need to identify and count the plant. Repeat. So 
we need to we need to count the number of flowers on each plant and tick the plant that has six flowers okay children so first we'll count this plant okay one two three four five six so how many flowers are there six flowers yes so now i need to tick this plant now let's count how many flowers does this plant has okay one two three so how many flowers are there on this plant three flowers so i should not tick this plant okay yes so now children i have few numbers here yes children so i need to identify each number and circle the number 6 okay so let's see what are these numbers okay this is number 6 so i need to identify and circle number 6 right children so this is number 6 and i will circle it okay and what is this number 5 and what is this number very good this is number 6 so now i need to circle this number and children what is this number good job this is number 3 and this is number Two, and this is great. This is number one, and this is number six. So now I need to circle number six, right? So this is number six. So children, we have learned a new number that is number six, and we have learned how to count number six using crayons, and we have also counted. six flowers okay and we have identified each number and we have repeat and we have identified number 6 from the given numbers so now children let's do an activity so children now let's do one more activity what is this number this is number 6 yes So now here we have an activity where this is Uncle Jelly, and Uncle Jelly is missing his family children. So we need to draw an Auntie and Baby Jelly. Yes. So now I have to make this is Uncle Number Six, and I have to draw a Auntie Six and a Baby Jelly Six. Okay. So. we have learned how to write number 6 right children okay repeat so we have learned how to write number 6 so we will practice and try to make to write number 6 here okay first we will write auntie jelly 6 okay so how do we we learn to make a c curve right make a c and then a curl This is my number six. So this is my auntie jelly six. Okay. So now I need to make a baby jelly. Yes. So we'll do it again, but a small six. Okay. So make a C and then a curl. This is my baby jelly six. So we have helped Uncle Jelly. to make a auntie jelly six and a baby jelly six okay yay so did you enjoy doing these activities children so now let's get into hands on activity so children what is this this is number 6 and we have few balloons here yes children so let's count how many balloons are there One, two, three, 
4, 5, 6. So we have 6 balloons. I have few straws. Okay. So let's, let's count how many straws are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 6 straws. So now in this activity we have learned to count number 6. So now let's practice tracing 6 on the sand tray. So first we will trace number 6 here. Okay. So we have learned to make a C and then a curl. And this is my number 6. We will do it again. Make a C and then a curl. So you also practice tracing number 6 on a salt tray. Okay children. Now let's do one more activity. So children I have a dice here. Okay. So I have a dice and few number blocks. So we will play a rollover activity where I will roll the dice. Okay. So I need to count the dots on the dice. Then I need to identify and pick the number matching to the dot. Okay. I repeat. So we will play a die activity. Rolling the dice activity where. Repeat. So children I have a dice here and few number blocks. So now we will play a game. We will roll the dice. Okay. And count the dots on the dice. Then I need to count the dots and pick the blo number block which matches to the number of dots on the dice. Okay. So let's do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need to identify and pick number 5 block. This is my number 5. And I'll do it again. One, two. Now identify number two block. Hey, this is number two. This is my number two. One. This is number one. One, two, three, four. This is number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is my number 6. And it comes after number 5. 1, 2, Three. So how many dots are there? Three dots and this is my number three. So it comes after number two. Hey, so I have done with all my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So did you all enjoy this game children? You also practice this rolling dice activity at your home and play with your parents, okay? So that you will identify the numbers and then counting also. Repeat. So you also practice doing this activity at your home with your parents, children. By doing this activity, you will learn to count and identify the numbers, okay? Okay, so now before we end our session for the day, let's recall what all we have learned today. Okay, so we have learned a new number that is number 6 and it comes after number 5. We have learned how to count number 6, okay, with many objects and things and we have also learned to count number 6 on our fingers and then we have practiced to trace number 6 in the air and we have also done 
sand raising activity and we have done hands on activity also yes children and i have also given you a very small homework to tell six names of animals which you know okay that's all for today's session see you later bye